Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to my pregnancy series. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film so many series here on my YouTube. And this one is all about pregnancy because that is what I'm currently going through. And I figured for this video, I would share my first trimester experience because it was hell. If you can tell by the title of this video, Hmm, it was not fun. So we are gonna go into something that's like obviously really personal to talk about and also a bit of a like um, stigma around it I guess because pregnancy is definitely looked at as something so incredible and that women should be so excited and so grateful all of the time and that's just not the case and honestly when I experienced these symptoms for myself I had to go online and google depression in pregnancy because I really didn't know whether this was a normal thing and I started to doubt myself and stuff so I am putting this video out there to let you know if you're going through this that it is so normal you are not crazy and you are dealing with a lot so seriously go easy on yourself but to kind of backtrack to the beginning of my wonderful experience with the first trimester um so yeah I basically found out I did one of those clear blue tests where it tells you how far along you are and I was about two or three weeks it said on the test so I had no symptoms then but what I did have was emotional trigger <laughs> and I feel like for me something that I strongly strongly believe is that our emotions our spiritual wellness and our mental wellness all play a huge role in our physical wellness and our physical health so the first thing that happened for me and I'm going to just start from the beginning and work my way through everything the first thing that happened for me was huge triggers because of the fact that this was not a planned pregnancy I didn't expect it at all and as soon as I found out like so many fears just all came up at once so many questions complete uncertainty and anxiety and stuff it all kind of hit me at once so the first symptom or like effect of being pregnant was emotions for me and then a week or two after that was when the physical symptoms started to happen. So for me, I feel like it's really important to address both because the physical symptoms happened, but the emotions were also happening at the same time. And like the mixture of the two <sighs> really takes its toll on your mind, which then can lead to depression and like feeling so disconnected from life and unhappy and not sure what to do and like completely lost and stuff. So having like the emotional turmoil and a lot of fear around being pregnant and a lot of fear around the future and like my abandonment issues came up and just so many. Ugh, annoying triggers but obviously like I say it's annoying but it's actually a huge opportunity to work through them and to get more comfortable in yourself and develop a sense of safety for yourself and stuff like it's a huge opportunity to work through them but that doesn't mean it's fun do you know what I'm saying it's really not fun <laughs> but then with the physical symptoms once they started to take over my wonderful body and yes the body is wonderful so let me not even be sarcastic about that but when the physical symptoms started I was nauseous constantly like it was non-stop every day I felt some kind of like motion sickness and I am not the type of person to even get motion sickness I am a huge adrenaline junkie I love roller coasters and like zip lining and just you know like adventurous things I'm not afraid of heights or anything like that so I never have experienced nausea like this before in my life I don't get car sick I don't get travel sick it was just so unexpected for me to feel so sick every day like day in day out from the moment I woke up to even when I was trying to sleep and I would feel nausea and not know how the fuck to fall asleep like it was not fun so it came out of nowhere and it was really unexpected and I didn't know how to handle it to be honest and I feel like even if you're used to it it's still difficult to handle do you know what I mean it's not fun and then from the nausea I did start actually being sick as well so it was at least once a day I would be running to the bathroom to be sick and I tried to track like the pattern of it to see what would cause it 
but it would be at random times throughout the day. It was kind of all over the place, you know. Sometimes I would be sick in the morning. As soon as I get out of bed, I would have to run and be sick. And then other times it would happen during the day or in the evening. There was even occasions where, um, like I'd be traveling in the car and literally I had to get my boyfriend to just pull over so I could jump out and throw up, which was really embarrassing. <laughs> and a lovely lady gave me some um, face wipes and some tissues, which was so sweet of her, but like just embarrassing situations that I did not expect to happen where you're just nauseous all the, the time. And that fun experience was not fun. Do you know what I mean? So obviously, um, with the emotions and the triggers of the emotions coming up as well as these physical symptoms it started to get to me and i also noticed on some occasions where like an emotional trigger would happen or like we'd be talking about something sometimes we'd be talking about the baby which is like i know it's kind of weird to say but i'm just being honest sometimes we would talk about the baby about like maybe a name or what gender it'll be or talk about the my bump and how it's going to get bigger and stuff like that like we would just be talking about something to do with the baby and i'd need to throw up like the thought of it literally made me sick but it was because i was absolutely terrified you know like the fear was just Oh, it just kind of took over my body and I don't know if anyone else has ever experienced that so it's kind of scary to even put that out there online but that is the truth of what happened you know like there was just so much fear that sometimes it did make me be sick <laughs> and then other times I was sick without even really being aware of any kind of emotion like I would just get up first thing in the morning and need to throw up so I think there was a lot of different factors that played into it that caused nausea and sickness and after a while of like living with that day in day out and not really being able to focus on anything because the nausea was so intense I couldn't focus on conversations or like focus on watching the tv or like do you know what I mean just normal things I couldn't focus on so then I like stopped wanting to make food and stopped wanting to take care of myself because I just felt so shit all the time that it was just so difficult to function so I stopped making music I stopped filming my videos I stopped really even cooking and I started buying like ready meals from the supermarket and stuff because I just couldn't bring myself to do anything you know and then sometimes my family would cook for me and it just started to get to me because then on top of that I then felt like real frustrated and like annoyed at myself for not just snapping out of it and getting on with it and stuff you know and when you look online sometimes and look at other people that are pregnant especially if it's just pictures and it's just a snapshot of like one moment it can look like they're really happy and thriving and you know like they're just coping with it so well and you actually have no idea what they're going through and stuff so you start comparing yourself to people with things that are not actually real you know and so basically it just started to get to me it's like to weigh me down and then obviously that affects your mental health as well as your emotional and physical so it's like all of these different layers all piled on at once with a lot of trauma a lot of triggering and a lot of shadow work that is needed so it did start to weigh me down a lot and I have experienced depression before if you've watched some of my um previous videos I have talked about it in my early 20s I experienced it for a couple of years and that was not fun but also I knew what it felt like because I've been through it before so then when it started to happen I'm like holy shit this doesn't feel good like I'm now miserable I actually don't like my life right now this is spiraling and I'm getting worse and I'm getting emotional every day because I'm so unhappy and I really don't know what to do and I think that is the one thing that I've learned about depression, especially from the therapy sessions I've had, is that it's often times when something in your life is not what you want or is not f fulfilling or like you're not happy about something and you want to change it, but oftentimes we don't know how to change it or we don't even think it's possible to change it. And so we can get stuck and lost and that is definitely what has happened to me before and then with symptoms like this where you can't physically stop them because they just keep on happening even when you try certain remedies and stuff sometimes they don't work 
so when it's something that makes you feel so powerless like you can't take control of it and you need to surrender to it it can be very very difficult to let go and surrender and so that can lead to a lot of sadness and anxiety and depression and that is definitely what happened to me and yeah I just kind of sunk to be honest I feel like I just spiraled and just didn't get out of bed you know like I spent quite a few days just being in bed exhausted as well because the first trimester is quite tiring but I just honestly couldn't function whatsoever and it's like kind of sad to even think about it because it is such a beautiful thing to be pregnant and to be able to create a baby like your body creates the baby without you even having to tell it what to do you know so it is such a beautiful thing but there's also a lot of difficulty to it that I wasn't prepared for and I don't think it's talked about enough especially when it comes to depression because depending on what your circumstances are like if you're in a toxic relationship or if it wasn't planned or if it like the symptoms are just too much you know it can bring up so many emotions and if we're not talking about it then you're not going to know that that's normal and then you start to feel like there's something wrong with you or like you've done something wrong or like you should be be doing it differently or you know it can just bring up so much self-criticism and as somebody that's always criticizing myself anyway this was just a whole nother level and really hard to navigate and I just didn't know what to do to be honest so there was many occasions where I would just cry to my boyfriend or cry like go in and cry to my mom and be like please just hug me because I don't know what to do you know what I mean and it was just yeah like I can laugh about it now but it was actually really horrible in those moments because it was just real sad and again powerless and I feel like powerlessness is like the worst thing to feel because you just don't know what to do and it can lead to complete despair you know and despair is such a horrible feeling whenever I felt that like it's just so uncomfortable because you don't know how to handle it or what you can even do to sort it out you know so you are not alone honestly a lot of women actually go through this and one thing I did do when I was experiencing depression was I started googling because I had no idea if other people felt this way too so I started googling depression in pregnancy like why am I depressed what is happening and I found a lot of YouTube videos of other women that are also have been through this and I mean, some women even got emotional in the video where they were still going through it. And I was sitting there just crying watching these videos because I was in the middle of it too. And like, it's just ugh, such a like, I feel like you have such tunnel vision when you're in it because you can't really see a way out. Like, There's no windows, there's no doors, it's just the hole, you know? And you don't know what to do about it. So just knowing that other people went through it as well and that it gets better gave me a bit of relief and reassurance they're like okay I'm not actually crazy and that these symptoms and these emotions and all of these fears about the future and what I'm going to do and stuff is a perfectly normal thing to feel and it's also quite difficult to navigate on top of the fact that having a child is like such a huge life-changing event you know it's probably one of the biggest things we could possibly do as women this is a child that you're going to be with for the rest of your life do you know what I mean like they're going to be in your life for the rest of your life and you're going to take care of them even when you become a grandparent and stuff you're still going to be taking care of them and making sure they're okay and like worrying about them and all that kind of stuff you know it's just something that once you do it you can't undo it <laughs> you know what I'm saying like once they're born you can't undo it so it's just a massive massive thing to wrap your head around and I feel like it kind of triggers a bit of an identity crisis as well and that is also something that I experienced was I'm just like who am I <laughs> you know like what is life okay what do I want because if a child is going to come into this then I need to be sure of what I want and what's going to make me happy because that's going to affect them and stuff so it really made me reevaluate everything like literally every aspect of my life as well as triggering like abandonment issues and bringing up kinds of wounds and things to do with relationships just so many things in all areas of life you know and that's overwhelming because that is a lot of stuff to process and to navigate on top of trying to deal with being sick every day and feeling nauseous every day you know like that is a lot of things to try and maneuver through so 
it's perfectly normal if it gets to you. I think that makes you human, to be honest. It's perfectly normal if you end up feeling sad about it and if you go through the grieving process of like grieving old versions of you or old hopes and dreams and things that you wanted before and just being so unsure about the future that it can make you kind of grieve the what ifs and the like maybe I could have done this or what if I wanted to do that and all of this kind of stuff, you know. There's just so many things that can trigger different types of emotions and so I think the main thing I've learned through this horrible experience is to just be kinder to myself and to also allow myself to breathe like to take the pressure off of needing to do this and do that and fix this and be perfect with this and just be like okay I feel miserable like and that's okay I'm allowed to feel miserable because this is horrible. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, this sickness is the worst thing I've ever experienced. It's awful. I mean, I don't really even get sick that often. And now here I am being nauseous constantly. So this is difficult. I don't know how to navigate it. I don't know what I'm doing. My whole life is kind of upside down because now I can't function and I'm not working properly and like doing all of my daily routines that I normally would do and stuff. So it's okay to actually be a bit overwhelmed and a bit lost and a bit stressed <laughs> and a bit fed up and frustrated and really wish that this wasn't happening right now, you know? Like, it's okay to even wish that you weren't pregnant and even feel like you've been invaded and, like, your whole body's just been invaded by some alien that's literally sucking all of your nutrients because that is essentially what's happening. It's, like, taking all of your nutrients and stuff and there's nothing you can do about it kind of thing, you know, and you're having to just ride the wave with it and hope that it gets better. So whatever emotion that triggers is perfectly normal and perfectly okay. And we don't have to actually be so mean to ourselves because honestly, it's such a hard thing to navigate. So I just think talking about it, sharing our experiences and stuff, lets people know that they're not alone, but also prepares people that aren't pregnant, but that want to be in the future you know everyone's body is different and what I went through you may not go through you might have something completely different I know my mum didn't have any symptoms like this whatsoever so I was very caught off guard when it happened to me but that just goes to show that all of our experiences are different and all of our bodies are different and we can just go easy on ourselves while we try and figure this shit out because it's not fun so yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Definitely check out the description box below because I do have my phone number there and you can always reach out to me anytime, especially if you're going through something like this and you're just feeling a bit lost and alone. Please reach out to me or reach out to somebody like family, friends, anybody, just to talk it through because you're not alone and it's perfectly normal to feel this way and it does get better. This is just temporary i feel like that's the most important thing to understand is that the sickness and stuff is because you're pregnant you know and this is an opportunity for you to deal with whatever wounds are coming up for you as well as to ride the wave of the physicalness of your body literally creating life it's the greatest thing you could ever do it's creating life and it's okay to struggle with that but you are not alone you know, we, so many women have been through it, especially the difficult sides of it. So the more that we talk about it and we normalise it, I think the less we will feel like miserable and depressed on our own and be struggling and be feeling ashamed of that because there's nothing to be ashamed about, you know. So definitely reach out to somebody, even a therapist too. I definitely do that myself as well. It's a game changer, honestly. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're doing okay and and honestly, this is going to get better. It's only temporary. So definitely check out the description box below. My phone number's there as well as my Instagram. You can always DM me on Instagram. And my links to my music, my crystal jewellery and everything else about me is all in the description box below. I really, really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much and I hope you have the best week. Bye.